Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch. Today we've got one of those products that probably shouldn't have been. But uh, we're going to talk about it anyways because <laughs> it's kind of funny. So anyways, this is Daz. You've probably heard of Daz before. They owned a couple of other pieces of software like Bryce and Hexagon. But they're most famously known for their Daz 3D character creator. One of the most uh, long-running 3D character creators out there. Uh, able to create a number of different things using Daz Studios. You can create characters like this. Now funny thing is they have these base meshes that you can work from. And it looks like they just added Jesus <laughs> to the mix, which, okay, another interesting choice. But anyways, they have this character creator software. You create fully rigged characters uh, from realistic to tune style. It, it's actually a very easy program to work with. Uh, and you can see here again, a number of their base characters. So you've got like Victoria and Jen, uh, Eleanor, Haley, etc. And then you can basically modify them and work with them. Well, someone at Dad's thought that the next step for this obviously was to take their characters and feed them into generation AI and have Daz users create AI things using their characters. So yeah, that's what they've done. So here we've got the announcement of Daz AI Studio. So basically this is partnered with uh, Stability AI or Stable Diffusion folks. Um, and it's trained on Daz's base meshes, it would seem. So what you can do is basically create a character uh, using their base meshes in different environments uh, and work from there. Now, there's a number of things that are being announced here, uh, like in-painting and upscaling and so on. Uh, these actually don't exist yet. So there's a lot of features here that aren't quite here yet, uh, but you see here, this is the idea behind it. I'll show you it in action right now, but first I wanna go through the reaction to it. So this was their announcement post. Now, this is one of those areas where you kind of missed the dislike button uh, because I have a feeling if you were to read the dislike over here, uh, it, it would be a, a very bad ratio. Now, the interesting thing here is their trailer. And one thing I want you to note on this trailer, so they kind of walk through how you can create stuff. And no doubt about it, it, it creates good looking work and you can see definitely their base meshes in action here. So if you're looking for that Daz art style, well, they've nailed it from a generative perspective. Now, the other funny thing about it is, so you can see a number of different uh, things coming. So again, a lot of this is coming soon. Right now, this is basically a very simple stability AI or stable diffusion style uh, image generator, but you can see a lot of the things that they've created here, demos. So we gotta go through here. They're using all of their base meshes. So this is trained off of Victoria with different settings. Now let's go and take a look at uh, this. Well, no, it's coming up. So I'm going the wrong direction. This one right here, this character. And what you may notice is uh, that <laughs> The fingers, the classic problem. Uh, her thumb appears to be a pinky finger. Uh, so this is a classic thing with AI, but when you're using it in your own materials that um, you've got the, the classic AI can't do hands things going and being illustrated there. Uh, the other thing I'm kind of noticing with this demonstration is there's not a big diversity of, so I think they know that fingers are bad, but look, look at the pose we're using here. Let's look at the pose we're using here. The pose we're using here here, here, and then there was the guy, and so on. All of them are in basically the exact same pose, and let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six fingers again. So um, yeah, I, I can understand uh, the reaction to this one. Now let's actually focus on the reaction a bit because this is actually kind of one of the funner parts of this. Uh, so let's just go through the comments. Apparently their forums, they've just been deleting things like mad. If you go and check out Reddit, there's uh, announcements about this for sure. Then uh, they're not positive. But I think the YouTube video pretty much says it all. How detached from your users and vendors can you actually be? Only a DAS 3D and then proceeds to show the exact same AI slot that is coming out of every other gen AI algorithm. Incredible. So instead of making an actual useful AI, you decided to make an AI image generator that not only already exists everywhere else, but has zero links with DAS. Why not make some uh, support AI in the vein of Cascadour? This is dumb. Uh, this is embarrassing. After watching your partner from floundering with NFTs now, this, you clearly have no direction for the company and are just trying everything for a quick buck when all people want are real built-in animation tools and multi-threading for an actual usable viewport. Uh, great. So all we uh, so we no longer need all the assets we bought at the DAS stores. Do we get a refund? They're so freaked out by negative response to this that forum posts are being deleted left and right. So you can see they're definitely cracking down on the responses on their forum. By the way, if you do check the forum, the announcement for this, it's basically every single post was, uh, this is a late April Fool's joke, right? Right? 
right? So that was kind of uh, the response there. Uh, did dads post their April Fool's Day a couple of videos, uh, a couple days late? There you go. Uh, really just to understand, dads is all about 3D models. While you introduce an AI art generator, you can implement AI in a useful way, for example, to, to fill render noise or just make interesting filters, but why a normal image generator that can be done better with more freedom anywhere else? You missed April 1st by a bit. Thanks for getting Daz artists banned for many conventions as it is now even harder to prove that there's no AI crap. Uh, and it just keeps going. Basically, every single uh, comment here is very, very, very negative. Uh, and then I think this one pretty much sums it up. Strongly dislike. So uh, Daz seems to be floundering. They did have a little bit of an issue where they jumped on the NFT bandwagon. Now, you know, like, we're all getting rich off NFTs these days. So they were definitely right there. Uh, yeah, this is, um, this is not, not a well-received product. Uh, then there's this one here that I can't even read. Uh, but yeah, a lot of about thinking that this was uh, an, an April Fool's joke gone wrong. So this was not a well-received product. By the way, if you do want to go and check it out, you can. If you've got a Daz account, which thankfully I already do, uh, you can come in here and it, it's an image generator. Uh, you can base it off of their existing characters. So we could say, uh, here are my two responses. So I tried using John, uh, the, the Jesus figure from their website. And I said, John jumping on a pogo stick, thanks to a dead milkman song, uh, which has the line jumping Jesus on a pogo stick. Uh, and the end result of this is, uh, well, it's definitely a Daz style character. Um, so you get, they, they've got the characters down. They look very Dazzy. And I'm not sure that they actually want that because it makes Dazzy stuff look even more Dazzy than Dazzy stuff already did, which was uh, kind of a dazzling thing. Uh, but let's go ahead and generate one here. So we'll use Michael. So I don't know if I have to actually say it in the prompt. Michael9 um, getting milk from an alchemist's shop. Okay, very random. I don't know what it's going to do with that, but let's give it a second. This actually takes a little bit of time to generate. It takes about, um, I don't know, uh, maybe a minute. So I'm going to pause it while it runs. All right, here is our results. So yeah, uh, again, AI is not doing a wonderful job with text here. Uh, the, the rendering results, the, the fact that AI can do this is actually staggering still. The cobblestones look a little strange here, but uh, yeah, that's that's the kind of thing it generates. I'm assuming one of these two is Michael. There is your milk. That is an alchemist shop, sort of. Uh, again, it's it's just stable diffusion. Literally, it's just stable diffusion, except for they trained it on their models. Now, their stuff looks good. So here you can see uh, I picked uh, Victoria 9. Uh, let's do again. Uh, so select Victoria 9 over here uh, with a shaved head doing a cartwheel. All right, so let's just do that one. So this should build off the uh, Victoria 9 model, and we'll give it a second to generate. By the way, I think you get about you see the 20 or 30 of these generations for free per month. Um, but yeah, oh god, oh god, um, oh, oh god, uh, yeah. So uh, I, I have no words. I, I we have three hands a foot. I guess that's a cartwheel. Uh, we definitely have a shaved head. I think that's, it's almost like they decided to put Victoria and Michael together in the same image. Oh, that's nightmare fuel. All right, so anyways, if you, for some reason you wanna give them money for this, you can upgrade. And in the upgrade, that's where you're getting the actual features. So uh, weird thing is I'm not getting my four images per generation, I'm only getting one. Or maybe I can just keep doing the same generation and it, that counts for my monthly usage limit. So again, you can check this out for free if you do have a Daz account. Uh, if you want a premium, that's where you get access to more of their characters, priority access, early access to features, unlimited images can be generated. It's four bucks a month. Uh, you've got control over dimensions, up to eight images per generation, uh, seed control, and then you're going to get upscaling in painting and image to image later on. So it's $4 a month uh, for this. And basically it's trained off of all of their characters, whereas the starter seems to be only trained off uh, Michael and Victoria at this point in time. So yeah, and ladies and gentlemen, that is Daz AI Studio. And if you want to have a little fun, literally head on over to their YouTube video, uh, check out the comments. Uh, this is not a well-received product. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think. Are you a Daz user? And if you are, what do you think of Daz AI Studio? I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.